Hello and welcome to UK Luthery. On this week's episode, we will be taking a look at the Black Star Fly 3 Watt Amp and having a sound demo from the Marshall Jackhammer JH1. And while we're at it, why not have a guest appearance from the one and only Mr. Hank Marvin? Please stay tuned for more. Welcome back. Today we are joined with Mr. Hank Marvin. Ladies and gentlemen, Hank Marvin. No, I'm only kidding. It's Sean. I'm going to call you Hank Marvin from now on. Brilliant. So Mr. Hank Marvin, what's it like to be young again? Well, it's not so good getting older. <laughs> no, honestly. Um, I've known Sean now for about a year. About a year, yeah. About a year. Yeah. About a year. Another member of staff here. Uh, the lovely Riffles, Riffles, Crystal, don't kill me. Say it right. <sighs> She's gonna murder me. She, she is literally gonna murder me. She's gonna murder you. So, anyway, he's another guitar player, local area. He's also a builder. Not a brickie. Apparently, he's a builder, a guitar builder. Not a brickie. <laughs> I thought it'd be nice to introduce Sean because in the next two weeks, we're at the guitar show in Birmingham and I thought you might want to know who's that strange looking Hank Marvin person walking around with me. So I thought, right, I'll better introduce him now while he's yeah. here. I want to know about you. Right. Okay. So just a bit about who you are, what you've done, that kind of thing. <clears throat> Keep it clean. Right. Nothing incriminating? No. No. Hey, remember, this is to the world now, so well. whatever you do say may be given in evidence. Okay. He's, he's a jazz freak. Um, he's really good at jazz, I must admit. I, he does play well, and you'll see that a bit later on. He, he really can play well. Apparently, you're currently working on another guitar, but it's for yeah. your college project. Yep, yeah, I'm currently working on a guitar. Um, it's going to be a travel guitar. Um, it's nearly finished, actually. It's going to be a travel guitar that, like a journey instrument, can be folded away and put in overhead storage on an aeroplane. Um, except the, the strings, because it's a wraparound bridge, the strings come off um, with the neck, so you've got two completely separate parts. And there's also a stand built into the back of it for good measure, because I thought that uh, I'd give it a go from what uh, Guild have tried. Um, <clears throat> unless you're using something like a Bohemian as an oil can, every guitar needs a stand. Yeah. And it's something that you don't see that often, is, is stands built into them. Like you said, Guild's about the only one yeah, I know. Yeah, Guild S200, but yeah, they've compromised on aesthetics a bit. Uh, to try and yeah. get it to work, but yeah, I think my my build looks all right. From what I've seen of it, the pictures I've seen, it does it does look good. And once it's finished and we've got the all clear from the college, and it's not going to affect his work in any way. I will do a, we will do a review on it on the channel, yeah. and you'll all get to see it. It's providing um, it gets finished, hopefully it will. It's you better finish on, it <laughs> on track to finish it in the next week or two. So good. good. Hey guys, it's me. At this point. The camera shut off and I lost a little bit of footage. Um, this is where I actually start, well, me and Sean start talking about the Blackstar Fly 3, um, 3 watt amp. And basically just how cool it is and the fact that it can actually have, um, you can buy an extension for it as well where it turns it into a 6 watt amp. So basically it, it's like bolting another Blackstar Fly 3 to it. Um, but it's just not an amp, it's just, just a speaker. Um, and it's all fed via an Ethernet cable as well. So rather than using a 3mm audio jack um, plug to tether the two together, it's actually using an Ethernet cable. Um, we go into uh, now just plug it in and uh, let Sean have a play on, on the guitar and uh, see just how good this amp sounds. So once again, I apologise that I've lost this piece of footage. Anyway, let's get back to the video now. Right, so here we are, all plugged up, ready to go into the black star. I'm going to start off by just using the one section. <laughs> Now 
this is I'm really sex tempted what to mode. get that. Okay. Yeah, it's already it's live. Sure, yeah. I mean, there's no way I can talk over the top of that yet. No. Um, this is the clean channel as well, by the way. This is not with distortion um, or overdrive. If you buy the pack, you can buy them as a pack, um, as a combo for both. It's about what ninety pounds. Ninety pounds. You work yeah. out, it's ninety pounds. Singly, they're about the the amp on its own sixty five. Sixty five pounds. So in the grand scheme of things, for what it can do, it's it's not that lot of money, really. You know, if if you went out and bought a, a fifteen watt combo, exactly. You know, you, you you can you can double that price quite easy. Yeah. If you need to. But yeah, I. I'm really tempted to buy the extension cabinet myself now because I didn't realise just how much difference it makes. It, it, but it's, it's made a hell of a difference. The room. It really has made a hell of a Amazing. difference. Amazing. For the money, for what you're paying, yeah. you're getting a hell of a lot of amp. Well done, Blackstar. You really have it you know, done well for a battery-powered amp. Yeah. Um, I said you, you can plug them into the mains as well. You can get the mains adapters for them. But, but you just, have to use the Blackstar's official one because I think it's some odd, like 6.6 .6 volts. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a weird voltage, isn't it? It's not a standard Yeah, they've done that voltage, so you can't just use any old wall adapter which is fair enough so that's so how you keep your sails up isn't it yeah yeah but yeah. to be fair I, I'm, I'm just blown away with these absolutely blown yeah. away uh, the best thing about it as well is you can plug a 3.5 mil uh, headphone jack into it so you can run it through headphones or if you really really want to you can plug your phone into it via a 3.0 mil jack and you can use so say you you want to play along to your, fa your, your most favorite song off your phone plug your phone in hit play and you can still use it as a, as a guitar amp as well, so you can play over the top of that song, uh, which is a very, very cool feature, yeah. because I know a lot of, well, I do it, I know I do I it. use that quite often. I definitely do it. Um, it's, you know, a lot of people do. You, you want to play your favorite song, but you want to play it with the band because you're not necessarily got a drummer with you or whatever. Brilliant way of doing it. Absolutely brilliant way of doing it. But uh, yeah, I reckon we should put a pedal into this. I think we should as well. Just see what happens with this now, because I'm, yeah, I'm blown away. Yeah. Right, give me two seconds just to put a pedal in. And we're back. Right, I have now in the chain the Marshall Jackhammer JH1 from last week's video. Is now plugged in, as you can see. So let's see what we can do with this. Right, um, anyone who saw on Instagram this guitar, I put a picture of it up the other week and the cable wrap around the chair leg. This is one of my builds. Um, there will be a video coming of this. Um, you've fallen in love with it, haven't you? It's the first time I you've probably played yeah, it. Yeah, I do quite like it. Yeah, the natural neck is it's nice. Well, considering you're a secret Gibbs and Les Ball fan. Well, I wouldn't have said that myself, but uh, yeah. Yeah, and he's a fan of fan. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, no, I, I love this guitar, I must admit, and uh, I'm glad that, that Sean's had the chance to, to really have a go with it and, yeah. and see what yeah. it, it can do. Um, but yeah, there'll be a video coming next week about this. Straight away. Straight away, that instant time. Yeah. 
too much just in case I get yeah. done for copyright on that. Um, but yeah, it's it's just absolutely brilliant. You know, classic, classic, classic distortion, your Marshall tone out of these. Now you go to your overdrive. Absolutely fantastic pedal, absolutely brilliant. Um, like I said, you know, it depends on what amp you're running it through to how you're going to set it up. You might have to tweak it from amp to amp. Uh, but yeah, it, it's just absolutely, absolutely lovely, and it's so loud when you want it to be. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you can really crank it. Um, and if, you, if you're not used, to it, um, you're not used to, to the pedal and just how loud you can actually get this thing. Um, it's a bit of a shock when you first plug it in. Um, it does take a little bit of setting up yeah. to get it just right, but like I said last week, it does come with that little quick start guide for your classic yeah. crunch settings. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so are you using a setting from that book then? No, this is actually not a setting from that book. Well, This is the setting I last used the pedal on. <laughs> <laughs> Get a Jackhammer JH1. You can get them cheaper than what I paid. You know, a lot cheaper. I've seen them online on well-known auction sites. Yeah. Don't know if I can say the name. <laughs> I'm sure you can get away with it. Rhymes with Flea Bay. <laughs> um, yeah, they're on there for literally next to no money. And uh, as a setup, pedal, I'm out of kit. Yeah. Yeah, you can't go wrong. You literally can't go wrong. No, it's um, a perfect practice rig. Really, that is. Yes, yeah, it's. it's <clears throat> for any bedroom, any bedroom user, I say once you've got a set of headphones plugged into that as well, yeah, you, you're on the money. Yeah, you're really on the money. And with busking, it's brilliant because you don't have to pay for electric. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just. Oh, it's a, that's a busking amp. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. Honestly, as a busking amp, that would be absolutely perfect. I mean, if I was walking down the high street and that was yeah. airing out, you'd know about it. And we've had it set up before with a with a phone with a a jack splitter, and it goes into two. Um, Two fly threes with the extension cabinets and the sound we got from that it was you could hear it for quite a way you know and we were outside so you thought it would have deadened the sound but no you could hear it and the, and the bass response as well was brilliant mm. um, yeah I have noticed they are quite bassy like, yeah they, they are, are quite bassy considering the size of a well yeah. done black star I mean big thumbs yeah. up to you guys you, you've done well with this so yeah I'm I'm gonna have to get a pair I really am gonna get a pair. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I'm going to be ordering that extension cabinet, so... Too right. <laughs> there you go, Blackstar, you've converted us. We're going, to, we're going to be looking at getting a set of these now ourselves. So, yeah. I can't think of a better way to end the video either. Really. No, no. So, yeah, no, um, I think we're going to leave it there for now. I mean, I can't think of anything else to say. No. I'm converted, I want a pair. Yeah. I really want a pair. Blackstar, please. <laughs> for Christmas, I've been really, really good. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please leave it a comment, please subscribe, please hit the like button. Facebook and Instagram, you all know what to do. I don't need to keep sitting there describing what to do. Um, yeah, please go have a look. Everything that's going to be coming up in the future episodes is all on there. Please have a look. Big thank you to Riffles. Riffles. Yeah. Riffles. Riffles. You've got to say it right. Uh, yeah, one day I will get it right. One, one day. day. Right. But until but, then... Thank you very much for watching, from myself and Hank Marvin. <laughs> and we shall see you in the next episode. Until then, keep on. See ya.